more I look at this place, the more I think that, yeah, this is starting to become a real android utopia, isn't it? I see nature and people and robots all in harmony. Sleek, modern, clean buildings filled with far too many plants. My god, they're everywhere. But there is a problem. Like most utopias, this just simply can't last the way it is right now. Our robotic colonists and everything they do to help humanity needs steel, components, plasteel, resources. Resources that, quite honestly, we've already started to exhaust. There's only a limited amount of stuff that is going to be available to us here unless we start throwing down huge quarries, big deep drilling operations, but that's just not eco-friendly. But my friends out there in space, far beyond the stars, or more specifically just in orbit, there's everything we could ever need. Space, the final frontier. It really truly is filled with an abundance of shit. <laughs> oh, and speaking of which, right on cue that, mineral-rich asteroid spotted. A mineral-rich asteroid has been spotted in the asteroid belt. You have to be fast since it's only visible for a limited time. But that brings us... Oh, there it is. Plasteel, hello. And that brings us to the main problem with the Android space program. How do you get to space in a renewable, ecologically friendly way? What, do we, what, do we drill for chem fuel? Huh? Do we grow fields and fields of crops only to burn it all to get to orbit? No, my very hungry metallic sheep friends. There was a solution so enormous brain that I don't think any of us could have ever thought of it. Well, any of us except for one very large brain person. That's right. Round of applause, please, for Mr. Maradoc, who suggested in the comment section yesterday the correct way to get to space. Chickens. We take all of the waste products from the ecosystem, the food that we can't eat, or maybe we grow fields and fields of very ecologically friendly bamboo, more than these chickens could ever consume, and they turn that into chem fuel. How many chickens do I want, you ask? All of them. <laughs> Every chicken. Well, okay, maybe maybe we'll wait until we actually get some resources. I'll take 10 chickens. I think that's a fair trade. Hang on, how many components have we got? Tw 23. I would say come... <laughs> I'll take five chickens. I think that's even fairer. I, I hate you. I hate you so much. Just as we were starting to get somewhere. Asimov. Hang on a second. You're not Drew Peanuts. You're just a random bloody sheep. It is just a stray sheep, right? You didn't go... I was going to say, I didn't think they could, they could untame themselves, given that they are robot sheep. What the hell are you doing? My windows. Anybody good at training animals? We do have refugees here helping us out for a little while. They needed somewhere to stay, so they came to Android Utopia. This is Pig Grimwald right here. Pig person desperately tries to convince metal robot sheep to not smash my windows as a Roomba undoes all the damage. Mineral rich asteroid spotted another one. Oh my god, we've got to get to space. There is also an enormous moon. You may have noticed that one. And what are you thinking? I thought the same thing. The moon's very large, but it's because I'm playing on a smaller planet, right? As I tend to do. But until one of the devs, there's a fix coming for it later today. So just just stand by. Hey! For God's sake. Oh, just keep it trapped in the freezer. Well, it's going to eat all the food, though, isn't it? Hang on, is anybody good at warning? Maybe they could calm down. We do have another robot now, ID193, who's capable of social. Maybe you could try and calm down Asimov? Go. Oh, oh, God, Asimov, what's going on? Oh, he's freaking out. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> okay, are you good? I think he's calmed down a little bit. I don't know what exactly happened there. Oh, for God's sake. We need a social bot, don't we? We need someone capable of interfacing with any refugees who turn up at the colony and also somebody good at fixing the other robots' problems because Asimov is having such a bad time right now. I should clarify, I'm doing my, my due diligence here. I am replanting all the trees. Like, for example, the seven or eight trees that were all clustered together there, these were all replanted. I just I just can't please this stupid robot. I think a cool side goal to try and achieve before we, before we do whatever it is we're trying to do here would be to have one of each android specialized in a particular task, right? So build one android, very good at growing, very good at plants. Build another android, very good at cooking. Another one, very good at social. Ideally, that one, like, right now. Desperately looking to see if there's any way we can turn the other droid we've got into something... Oh my god, a bit more useful. Uh, I don't know if any of these modules work as well, I should clarify. They might be installable into other mechs because of Xenobiotic Patcher. They might not. This is all mad science. We're going to send androids to the moon. Ammo packs so you can fire tasers faster. <laughs> we've, we've, we've lost our minds. We've got to defend already. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Would it be better to go for a combination of, say, one droid using tear gas, one go droid using tasers, one droid firing nets? Because if you tase someone too much, they die. If you anesthetize someone too much, they die. But a combo of all three might apply different stacking debuffs that knock them down rather than kill them. And I mean, to be fair, I, I mean, I don't know how non-lethal you can consider tasing, uh, tear gassing, and netting someone up simultaneously. Oh, no! 
Caius. Hi, Stellar Caius Cassides. The Fallen Empire is requesting you build a monument to insult the gate of his rival. We have to do this. We have no choice, right? Because it's a human giving robots orders. We have to use our oh, 120 bricks. That's like totally fine. Metallic, uh, woody, stony, kiting, 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 kiting. Okay, that's good. Um, tech print learning suite leader. What is that? Enhanced growth vat learning. Oh, for any children we rescue, we can make them a better leader. I mean, if that's going to... Oh, but the advanced corners. I'm not sure. I guess this one will help out humanity better. So we've got to go with this one, right? Okay, well, let's get to building up a building. Is it particularly large? I mean, I don't mind putting monuments down on the island, but I, I'd rather not. We've also got to defend it, though, haven't we? Oh, shit. Uh, here, put it on the cape. This will this'll look good. This will look lovely. Oh, pirate fee demanded. What do you mean? Caius, I still like the Fallen Empire contacts you on the comms console. Based on your proximity to the settlement, Moss Rassam, he feels you're encroaching on their terrain. He's willing to overlook the transgression for 4,400 silver. I can't do it. I mean, it's an order from a human, so I suppose we've got to... We'll postpone it, and we'll see if we can get the money together to pay him off. This is ridiculous. I'm being bullied. He's <laughs> just leave me alone. I'm building your building. I'm getting your silver. Well, I mean, it's not perfect, is it? Basically, unless we get a trader that turns up, we, c we can't stop it. And I think at that point, they'll then raid us, won't they? We've got... We, we've got two vacuum cleaners with tasers. Carry on proving to you all how dedicated I am to making this a nice, friendly colony. I have an idea. I'm going to do something I don't even do for regular, regular flesh and blood and bone colonists. I'm going to say that our robots this time around don't just get given a job based on what the colony needs. I think any of the sentient robots, tier 2, 3, 4, 5, deserve a say. We, we should treat them nicely. Not as nicely, of course, as we treat people. What I'm getting at is Eddie uh, ID193, who I'm about to rename, wants uh, and loves to do construction and loves to do artistic. So I think there's only one thing I've got to do here, right? Ali193, as in the artist, uh, Salvador Dali, but also as in like the robot, what makes the art that people then take from the robot and post it in my Discord and say, wow, look at this thing that took me hours to draw. I know you didn't draw it. You are going to be my favorite little artistic robot boy. Go and live your best life, Dali. I mean, look, I, we'll say that their top priority can be whatever they're designed to do, right? So we'll say art is the highest, but I'm not going to take away all the other jobs for him. Humans, I'm not touching at all. I'm leaving them with total autonomy. They can do whatever they like. They're humans. But we can also design them to have the various different modules, like the artistic module, which, in fact, I'll try and see if we can install that into... Oh, hang on. That's advanced components. How many have we got? <laughs> There's me trying to get into all of it, and I'm going to waste... One ninth of our very fancy irreplaceable components so that we can have a robot make art for us. These are mechanoid modules, but we might be able to install them into the androids. Depends on... What are you doing? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't say stop. Depends how they work. Depends how Xenobiotic Patcher catches it, right? Let's see. Can we give you an art... Oh... We're going to have to make an artistic mechanoid instead. There are there are additions that we can give to Dali instead from later down the research tree. In fact, while we're waiting on uh, the rocket-related activities, chickens, basically, why not try and find some of those robot upgrades? Ah, here it is. So we've got Tier 2 androids, optimized surrogate, Tier 3 androids, Sky Mind Core. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, core assistance, I think, is what we're after specifically that gives all different benefits. Mechanical assistance chip. Construction assistance chip. Yeah, this is it. Oh, don't do it. Hang on, Gaius. I've got to make Dali a gun. Okay, there you go. Oh, excellent net gun. I'll take that one. Okay. Oh, hang on. I think I made a horrible mistake. Don't these things have... Oh, shit. Terrible range. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... um. <laughs> I think that's a slight problem. Am I doomed? I think I'm doomed. I think we're doomed. Flash grenades. Whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Descartes. Descartes, come grab these flash grenades. Gaius. Guys, we're just normal men. I've got to hit reject, and then they're going to turn up immediately, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Well, there goes nothing. How many are we looking at? Three raiders. Three raiders. We've got a battle axe, whatever the hell that is. Modular hybrid rifle, and then a bio-coded LMG. They've got shields and power armor. It's okay, though. We've got a, a glorified calculator with an anesthetic rifle. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this, all things considered. Oh, let's get the humans to safety. They can hide in there. We'll keep them armed just in case the robots can't stop them. <laughs> just to go for when the robots don't stop them. Sorry, I misspoke. What if we shoot like da? What if we just shoot the zombie Joris? Just like turn it hostile. Have it rip them apart. Uh, you're going to have to be bloody fast if you want to do that though. Uh, Asimov. 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 
All right, we're out of time. Thank you for helping. Okay, go. Shit. Good try. Get, get into cover. Get into cover. Right, I don't like either of these things that are about to happen. Either that, nor this. Animal and Dougie. How the hell? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I had played Plato selected. I thought Plato had the flu. And Mondo, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This is why we're here. We're here to help. Shit. I don't think the anesthetic rifle will even get through their armor. Uh, death acidifier. Death acidifier. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Descartes Dali. Let's get you out here. Hold on. Let's swap you two out. Can you not see them from there? Oh, my God. The net gun shit as well. Amazing. Well, they're getting kind of close. I have horrible, I have horrible hopes. I have horrible hopes and horrible dreams. This is, this is amazing. Go. Why have you got to do this to me? Why are you keeping me on edge like this? Flash grenade. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I'm so big brain. I'm unstoppable. Robot, large, big brain. Do the flash grenades harm us? They, they may. They might do that. Um, just keep lobbing them there. Keep going. Keep going. Never stop. Are you, you're, you're like anesthetized already, right? Uh, no, no, you're just entangled. Oh, for God's sake. Movie manipulation. Uh, do you think that stacks? Do you think we could just keep doing it over and over? Hey, uh, Big Wiggly, why are you here? Shut the door. Oh, my God. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Okay. Hold on. Let me think. What the hell are we going to do here? Does the net gun stack? I think all it will do is just increase the duration where they're entangled. But on the plus side, if they're entangled, they're moving as 20%. We could probably just run circles around them, literally firing anesthetic their way. So hold on. Oh, God. This is sweaty. How have I made the sweatiest series? Stop. Entangle you. Flash out there. You keep stunning the one with the net. And then you just keep working on... I, I think the person with the shield is going to be the real issue. Nice! That is exactly what I was hoping would happen. How, this has never happened to me in RimWorld before. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Um. Shut the door. Hold on. Uh, leech them. Leech them one at a time. Uh, you turn around and shoot that. You turn around and shoot that. Can I shoot Melly? You turn around. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Hold on. No! Big Wiggly! Nice. Bring him down. No, don't, 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 don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. We don't do that, remember? Remember, we don't harm humans. We oh, you stunned Big Wiggly, you moron! Descart! Careful. Careful. Okay, so they are... What's that? What's, sorry, what was the manipulation with that again? Down by 30%. That's amazing. Because now they're not going to hit our people in... Yes. Nice work. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. And we shut the door. Nice. Uh, this has never happened to me before. I've never had anything go my way in Rimworld. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Dali, come here. You stand there. Asimov, pop the door. Go back here. This is the best day of my life. You're telling me stopping and thinking and pausing can lead to sometimes victory against insurmountable odds? This is crazy. Come on. Come on. We're not going to get through the shield, though, right? Better to just let them flee. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we can even get through that. Maybe maybe let them go. Maybe let them go. Um, you're unwavering a little. That's fine. We can still just convert you and send you off. Okay, leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of here. Leave them. Crash Gordon, what are you doing? Stand down, you weird man. This is a fleeing person. I think that's a war crime to... <laughs> attack people who have surrendered. <laughs> that was like totally non non lethal, completely non lethal. That was amazing work. We just net them up, hit them with a little anesthetic, and we can send them on their way. Oh yeah, look! It's the combination of the 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 net gun. My idea was right. Combination of the net gun and the anesthetic rifle. You're at no risk of killing them, but the stacking movement debuffs are going to make it so we can actually capture people harmlessly. Asimov, you're a genius. Unwavering prisoner. I don't care. All we've got to do is convert them release, right? Even, the unwavering just means they won't ever be recruited. I don't care. If we send them back to the Empire with a new unwavering ideology, this seems good. Oh, I'm happy with this. Take these guns. Make sure they're smelted down. I am going to use the glycerol medicine on them because, of course, of course we should. That's what we're here to do, right? We're here to defend humanity. There you go. Nothing to worry about, even though this hospital isn't very good, I'll admit. Oh, we should try and tend your heart. Your, your heartery blockage before we send you off. Um, it's three medicine, but not herbal. That's fine. Oh, you need 10 medical skill. Oh, shit. Maybe Asimov we should turn into the medical bot then? You've got a passion for it. Either medical or intellectual will obviously suit them. But given that you're already 18.42 intellectual, it's a benefit of everything taking three times as long, right? <laughs> you learn a lot more in the process. Oh, that's fine. This is good. No, you're not supposed to be helping robots. I mean, I appreciate it. There's no rule against it, but... Thank you. That's very, very kind. Very generous. You actually did make one. Oh, I didn't even notice. Egg progress, 74%. I presume that's going to be... Well, it did say on the page that it's like a precursor to chem fuel. And yeah, look. 
Precursor to neutral, I mean, or chem fuel. Oh my god, if it can do neutral, I mean, we could use chickens to power anesthetic gun turrets. Ooh. And more importantly, we can use chickens to run the uh, sleep gas vents as well. We'd have to add in medicine uh, production, just like regular plain old industrial medicine. Let's... Oh, we've already got it. Well, that was easy. Of course we've already got it. We need it for sleep gas, you idiot. Oh! Asimov! Every time I think you're making some bloody progress in life... Oh! Oh, I hate you. Dolly, come over here. See if you can calm Asimov down. I need these chickens. So it occurs to me saying doing Telex is not a good idea for um for chickens. Because, you know, they don't go in a stockpile or anything like that. <laughs> come on. Oh, I hate you. I completely forgot about this, but someone did point out that we do have the refine resources from chunks option on our electric smelter. Let's us get trace tiny little amounts of resources from any spare chunks that we've got kind of help tidy things up. There you go. We got two uranium and one silver from that one. Certainly not going to get us into space, but it is it's a form of recycling, right? And helps get rid of some of the massive amount of, of stone chunks that are all over the base. On the subject of recycling, I'm sure we've accrued more than enough crap at the... You can't recycle apparel. Why would you do this to me? Why would Asimov do this? Apparel recycling. There it is. <laughs> For God's sake. Mecha... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mechanical optimization was how much research? 8,000? Oh, God. Standardize standardization alone will not solve everything. What does this do? It's just a prerequisite to other research that lets us build up our robots. Oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? Phoebe Chillax? This isn't very Chillax at all. I suppose one was an event-driven raid, and then this one is, uh, wow, you are frightening, aren't you? Holy crap. The plus side, they don't have armor. <laughs> but on the downside, we haven't got Asimov. All right, little robots. Let's see what you can do then. We're going to have to change the approach, aren't we, to the actual base itself. The, the enormous semicircle, that's fine. At least we're getting them into an area where we can try and deal with them. We might have to build a big reinforced bridge across to the mainland. Maybe replace all this with stone, too. That can hurt. What have we got a lot of chunks of, like, granite? Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe we just make a shitload of granite blocks then. Oh, come on, Asimov. Come on, now's the time. What are they doing? Kidnap who they can and... No, doggy! I'm a, I'm a terrible conservator bot. I'm a terrible conservator bot. Uh, is this not a failure? Have I not failed the quest? Because you... No. What was that building? Did we not build that? What are we waiting on? Oh, we need, we need uh, stones for the tiles. I, I don't understand. How has this happened? Tired refugees. If you wish you can choose to kill, arrest, or send them or harvest them without consequence. No, I would never. Oh, animal, run, 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 run. Oh, for God's sake. You know what? Fuck you, Dougie. I mean, that's not the robot way to look at things, is it? That's not the robot way to go about things. Fine. You know what? If we get a quest to rescue Dougie, obviously I'm going to do everything I can in my power to rescue Dougie. I'm not happy about this. <sighs> Whatever. Chemical capsule. There we are. Uh, synthesize nutrient solution. Oh, nutrient or chem fuel from chemical. Okay, so you have to put in a little extra work, but that's totally fine. Uh, I presume biofuel refinery is what we're after next. Um, I'm going to put you like right there. Stop this madness. Stop this madness. Oh, for God's sake, Asimov is still out of it. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, this is a nightmare. Um, where are you two? You're there. You're there. Okay, do me a favor. Go and hide. This is this is chaos. This is total chaos. And they did a prison break while everyone was in there. Totally bizarre. Very, very bizarre, strange people. There you go. Just, just go tase them quickly. The problem is we can't knock them down because none of these weapons we've got knock them down. We, we, we genuinely just got to wait for Asimov to wake up. Oh, the turtles are fighting the prisoners. And I can't stop them. <laughs> I've lost control. <laughs> it's all gone so wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Animals breaking down. On the plus side, I think we stopped the riot. Thank you, Drew Peanuts. I appreciate that a lot. Here, come and stop them. ID4, look, just stand down. Thank you. Oh, there you go. You're fine. Prison riot over. Problem solved. God's sake. This is the, I, I've just totally, totally lost control. Right, okay. Is, is your problem still the trees? Harm somebody. You just did that. You just punched them. How can I be held accountable for you punching people 
in prison while they try and escape when I have no control over you. Oh, I hate this fucking robot. Uh, Dolly, what are you doing? Cutting stun blocks. You're also feeling depressed. Why? Harm somebody. I... Right, that's it. Uh, we're changing. We're changing course. We're changing. Forget about space for a moment. I've got too distracted with space. We need to find a way to stop them harming quote unquote people. Up at part, part one. Build more chickens. Build more chickens. Give me. Give me someone who's good at machining. Plato, get over here. Build me some chickens. Some have snapped out of his days. Oh, now you have. Now you have her. Huh? Even with catharsis, it's still not enough. Your mood is still 2.2 percent. Yes, Plato. Embrace the chickens, Plato. Chickens are gonna save this colony. The chickens are gonna save this colony. We've only got three of them. I need more. I need more chickens, Plato. How many components have we got left? Oh, but we've got shitloads of steel, right? That's what they've been doing, is just mining non-stop steel. What's that doing in there? That's a living room. To produce gal brick. What, one? Even the dryads are going against me. That says 45. What do you mean one gal brick? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just build a freaking flamethrower and be done with it. You do yeah, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's net harm. Okay, we're, we're just gonna blast them with a flamethrower And then I'll give them fine plasteel skin and then they can never be harmed again So really it's a net positive if we kill them they can't be harmed ever again. So it's a net positive Vanity is unlovable. I I <sighs> Everybody we're, we're all good here. We're all friends. Everybody's friends. We love humans. We're all fine, right? Chem fuel, which is a top priority here. Forget the space program. Still getting distracted with nonsense things. Can powered friggin' space program is never gonna work. It was never gonna happen. I mean, it's still gonna happen. I just need to deal with the other crap first. Hold on, I've, I've got a better question, Your Honor. What, what the hell do we need to build more Android charging stations? Because if I could put one of those in in most rooms, they wouldn't have to keep running over to our charging station. Oh, that will definitely do it. Put that there. Do that first. Still complete. Okay, but you could always hear me out here. You could always make more. We could make we could make a lot more. With the amount of bloody steel we've dug up, I could turn all of this directly into chicken. Oh my god, quest complete. They've done it. That's what you were working on. Okay, thank you. We don't even have to worry about defending this one either, right? Amazing. Uh, within 15 days, we got learning suite leader. Am I going to be able to do anything with that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I'll be surprised if we survive beyond tomorrow. Go, Asimov. Analyze it with your robo Venus. And boom. Charging stations. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, so with those, uh, we could have, uh, hear me out here, a dedicated barn, maybe. Not have the many chickens and animals congregating in the hospital slash prison. That'd be nicer, wouldn't it? Um, we could put them... There's plenty of room over here. I could put them over there, but I like this this zone. This zone we're not doing anything with. So let's use this as a kind of animal sanctuary. Let's put a recharging bay in here. It's 150 silver. Oh, God, that genuinely might be a problem. Let's put one in here as well, then, given they're going to be doing a lot of work in here, after all. No! Not you too. The, the refugees. They planned treachery all along. You know what? I'm glad that animal died. Was it animal? No, the other one died. Pole plob. Filthy animal. I can't believe you've done this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Like fight back? So to steal what they can and leave? I hate them. I hate them all. I, I hate them so much. Why are we doing this for humanity? Every single human we've seen today has been a shitbag. Send them. Send them to hell. By hell, I mean we're going to send them to prison. We're going to patch them up. We're going to send them on their way. That's what I mean by hell. Oh, no prisoner beds. Not enough freaking prisoner beds. <laughs> this is horrible. Why is reality so difficult? Convert, then release. Go on. Convert, then release. Get out of here. We could convert, recruit, and send them off to the safe haven. But what are you doing in there? Why are you there? What is? What are you looking at the fish for? That's nicer. There you go. It feels like we've got a little bit of husbandry going on right now. How fast are those eggs being produced, I wonder? Uh, we've already got nine of them. Whoa. And how many is it per... So we take four capsules and we turn that into two new tramine. <laughs> okay. Well, what about the chem fuel? Oh, it's, it's ten chem fuel. Well, that's a little bit better. And to be fair, it's just... I mean, it is just kind of passive. Uh, as long as we keep the chickens fed, it's just passive neutral. I mean, passive cam fuel. Unlimited rocket fuel, right? And they'll eat any old crap. The weeds and the, and the stuff that we're not going to use. But yes, get out of here. One of 25 of the Fallen Empire. I mean, it's progress. It's progress. Maybe I can't complain that much. Maybe maybe this is a, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Oh! What about smarter deconstruction? Are we just not doing that anymore? Robots? Are we just not we're not bothering with that? You're just gonna crush my fucking chickens. Is that what's gonna happen? All I wanna do is get robot chickens. 
take the robot chickens and use them to make sleep gas. Why is that so outlandish? I think we're a little bit overdue on this one, but let's put down a wall not made of wood. Maybe it couldn't hurt to get a few more basic mechanoids in as well. Let's throw down a little mech gestator. I was kind of hoping I had room in here for it, but this was a very poorly planned room in hindsight. There you go. That'll do. Is this, is, is this all base game? I have no idea. Agrahand. Clean sweeper. Yeah, no. Give me one of those. Constructoid. Falcon lifter. Both of these the second, of course. What's a scavoid? A cheap swarming unit with four blade tip legs that explodes upon death. Oh, it sounds very good. It's capable of basic manipulation, flicking switches, as well as stripping equipment from dead bodies. Oh. Oh, God. It could be like a little recycler bot then. Okay, cool, sure. Resurrect like mechanoid. We can bring both of these back. Oh, it's actually working. Both of these. Both of these come back to me. Resurrecting both of these. Yes. We might as well say resurrect like mechanoid do forever. Of course, I'm going to uh, do whatever we can to bring them back. Poor sweet both of these didn't deserve this. How do you make subcores again? Basic, basic subcore. How, how do I do that? Hold on. Uh, research. Subcore. Basic mech tech. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that isn't obvious by now. Um, how do I build subcore encoder? That's right. There's going to be more tort units. Uh, yak, yak. Okay, we'll have a look in a second. Um, wow, these rooms were designed horribly, weren't they? I think we might need to redo this slightly. Oh my god, hang on. It's doggy. They need 1,777 silver. I haven't got that. Postpone it. Maybe we can get a trader before then. Ah. Uh, it's not as if we can go out into the world and trade with people. 313, is there anybody willing to trade right now? Uh, summon Diabolus. No, thank you. Come back, supply Bionics. Asimov. Asimov, run. Sell them everything. Uh, do whatever we can to get Dougie back. Not that Dougie deserves to come back. Dougie was a dickhead. Dougie, apparently one of the Tracerous faction members. Oh, this is so expensive. <laughs> Why is it so difficult to do the right thing? Uh, we need the gold. I can't sell the gold. We can sell a couple of advanced components. How much was it? We need 1,777 or something ridiculous like that. Oh. Five advanced components. I've got to keep five. Look, let's sell some more regular components, I guess. I'm only using it to build chickens, after all. Is that close enough? Sell some more part packs? Shit. Um, gold. This is ridiculous. How much was it? How much did you want? Um, 1,777 it was. Okay. Postpone. Hang on. Asimov, don't go anywhere. Need 73 more silver. Oh, careful. That's not a button you want to press accidentally. Um, j look, just take another advanced component and get out of my sight. Fine. Done. There you go. Okay. There you go. Give me Dougie back. Now, wh when we get Dougie back, is Dougie not just going to immediately turn hostile? <gasps> you actually count as a full-blown colony member now. Oh. Hello, Dougie. Oh, well, that's weird. I, I don't think that's quite how that's supposed to work, but fair enough. I guess we'll send you to the safe haven then. And, and you know what? Given that the other two... Uh, there's no point converting and releasing them because they're not part of the faction. We might as well convert and recruit. And then send those off to the recycling base as well. A lot of people have said we should have humans and robots living together in harmony. And I do totally agree. Maybe we'll wait until we will bring them back after we've got some defenses. Because right now, we can't even defend the robots, let alone the people. And it's going to be more harm overall to keep them here and try and keep them in luxury than it is just to send them off to a recycling base where the Empire's not bothered by that and the mercenaries probably aren't going to touch them. What have they got? They're just going to take apart some scrap? There's nothing of value there. Whereas if they live here amongst our robots, they're going to get shot at and, oh, I don't know, maybe kidnapped like they just were. Some of us in, like, a great mood, though. Huh? What's happened? Catharsis? Very few scans, okay? Trees defaced. Look, I, again, look, I'm replanting them where I can, okay? Certainly environment. Actually, you're all right. Automated weapons. I wonder if it's the inactive gas vent that counts as that. Both of these. Both of these is done. Yes! My friend, welcome. Hey, there we go. Another five chickens. Oh, good. Oh, good. This has gotten out of hand. May not have defended humanity today, but my God, chicken rights everywhere are being championed. 15 of them so far. Not bad. I've got another few queued up. Actually, maybe we should stop. I just sold all the components. Oh, we still got 2,000 steel. You're fine. Keep going. I'm a little bit concerned. What do you mean? Pirates from the Fallen Empire have upgraded a nearby outpost to a base. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. I think that's fine eventually, right? Because we're going to show them the error of their ways. We're going to show them that there's a better way to live life. In big, round glass houses surrounded by a sea of chickens. Oh, God. There's so many chickens. Drowning and drowning in chickens and twirling. Twirling towards freedom. 
It's supposed to be about building an android utopia, and it's just... They just don't do anything. They just stand there. They just stand there menacingly. Do they just stand and lay eggs. It's so weird. You weird little guys. Wow, the eggs actually do... I do lay egg pretty fast, don't they? How many of those have we got? 54. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, refine. Someone, someone on the refine? Someone on refine. Asimov's on refine. Asimov, get over here. Do some refining. That's a lot of neutraming. Oh my god, we can maybe build the sloop gas today. That, that counts as some sort of progress, I think. Look at this. 32 neutraming. I mean, it hasn't updated for a while. 40 neutraming. Oh shit, this is good. This is good. I'm going to build... Of course I'm going to build more chickens. Why wouldn't I? Oh, amazing. Uh, when you've recharged then, Asimov, we'll get you to... Uh, what do we need? Chem fuel. Oh my god, it's still the smoke leaf we're lacking now. Smoke leaf plants. Uh, just kind of all over the place, aren't they? So they are, they, they should be anyway, automatically turning everything into seeds because we don't need food currently because we've got no people. And the people that we do have, we can feed with whatever food we've got, right? Well, let's say forget about everything else. Let's just say focus on the smoke leaf for the time being play. So if we say, uh, stop. Oh, you can't extract seeds. You need eight of them. Oh, shit. We're close. We need three more smoke leaf leaves and then we can start a whole crop. You hungry little penis. And a slight problem with having so many, um... <laughs> hungry animals is that's uh, probably going to eat everything. We might not even get a chance to grow any smoke leaf. And once again, Android Utopia Island, totally defenseless. But this does give us a nice fresh slate that we can kickstart and do things properly tomorrow, whether we build it all out of steel. Bear in mind, we can throw down steel bridges, right? And there's still loads more steel left for us to mine up. Way more than we could ever possibly use. Or we get into space before we could use it all up anyway. We've got loads and loads of bricks. 1,600 sandstone, 1,400 granite. So a solid stone wall, a little less breachable. And maybe with a big dedicated bridge, like a huge bridge going across. That could work really nicely. Hopefully it'll be a bit more aesthetically pleasing than... <laughs> than the crap we had before. Thank you for joining me today on what has quickly turned from peaceful, casual Android utopia with, with modern buildings and animals and conservation ship. I don't think that's a real word. To chaos. It's turned to chaos. Uh, it's just pure, unbridled chaos. And I have no control of my life. Thank you for joining me. Look, we're going to get control tomorrow. We've got the sleep gas dealt with. That's going to stop the harming humans. Being more careful about the trees. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This is just a small bump, which has been great for growth and learning and a bunch of other excuses. Thank you, of course, to the executive producer patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to also seen Zona Schimmel, Ruck, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Dietz, Constable Corvus, Jester, Eugene Wrecker, Voyager 04, Floor 1235, Alex Rogger, Tulip, Isolated Entropy, A Tubes, Biv, A Box, Scaps, Druta, Brandon with Toniac, Knight of Sorin, Cuddles, Space Soap, Shork, Comrade, Shadowblade, Seven Wolf, Seal Food, Jai, and King Jar Jar. User Dabuba. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, go and have a look at CK3 if you're not watching it. It's an RPG. People, people look at it, they think, oh, it's like Hearts of Iron. It's a map painting game. It's not. I've been converted over. I never used to like CK3, but it's 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 just about building characters. If you like fantasy and RPG, and honestly, the things that make real world interesting, the immersive character, uh, kind of progressively generated character stories, I think CK3 will scratch a very, very similar itch, especially when you focus on playing the character. Sure, you could play it as a sweaty empire building game, but that would make you very strange. Thank you, uh, speaking of strange people as well, to uh, Armor, MD Core, Perseus 2001, Hero Club, Fedor, Frey, Buta, Leosai, Lumbering Garb, Hentai Connoisseur, Ace of Hearts, Ed Roppel, Tardrico Rico, Colonel Cathcart, Dressed Down Panda, Untouched Wagons, The Murph, Joe Bomb 007, Laminus, Jolene Gamuski, Jose Asala, Azurami, Juicebox, FHN, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Daggett, Merlin Kane, Tony, MW, and Rommel DK as well. See you all tomorrow.